Hello everyone. I am Dr. Soundara Raj. I am very happy to interact with you all through this video. In this video, I am going to take you through three problems and their related solutions in the chapter Marginal Casting. Through the video, you will clearly understand the accounting treatment for calculating profit volume ratio, break-even point sales in units and value as well, margin of safety, sales to earn a desired profit and also the profit at a targeted sales value when there are changes in variable cost per unit and fixed cost are given in the problems. These are all a few details related to my career. After you watch the full video, if you find the video beneficial to you, give a like to the video and do subscribe my channel so that you will get the updates of the future videos which I will be releasing. Let's get into the first problem. From the following details, find out profit volume ratio, break-even sales and margin of safety. The given data are sales 1 lakh rupees, total cost 80,000 rupees, fixed cost 20,000, net profit 20,000. What is the formula for calculating profit volume ratio in the normal situation? Contribution divided by sales into 100. We know sales amounted 1 lakh rupees is given in the problem. So we have to find out only the contribution to calculate the profit volume ratio. What is the formula for calculating profit volume ratio? In this problem, since fixed cost and net profits are directly given, if you add these two figures, you will get the total of contribution. Therefore, contribution is equal to fixed cost plus profit, it comes to 40,000 rupees. Now, PVR is equal to 40,000 rupees of contribution divided by 1 lakh rupees of sales into 100, it has given us the profit volume ratio of 40%. So, we have come to know the profit volume ratio which is asked as per question A. Question B, we are asked to determine the break-even sales. What is the formula for calculating break-even sales? Fixed cost divided by PVR. You know fixed cost is amount of 20,000 given in the problem and the PVR is computed just now as 40%. So, 20,000 rupees divided by 40%, it has given us 50,000 rupees of break-even point. And the next one is about margin of safety. What is the formula for margin of safety? Profit divided by PVR. There is another formula as well. Actual sales minus BEP sales. You can make use of any one of the two formulae because both could be applied in the problem. Profit divided by PVR. Profit is 20,000 rupees given in the problem. And PVR we have calculated as 40%. Therefore, margin of safety in the problem is 50,000 rupees. So, this is what about sum number 1. Let's get into sum number 2. You are given the following data for the year 2019 of a company. Variable cost 6 lakh rupees, fixed cost 3 lakh rupees, net profit 1 lakh rupees, sales amounted 10 lakh rupees are given in the problem. Find out A. PVR B. Break-even point C. Profit when sales is amounted 12 lakh rupees and D. Sales in rupees to earn a profit of 2 lakh rupees. See, these are all the four items we need to find out as per sum number 2. Now, what is the formula for profit volume ratio? As usual, contribution divided by sales into 100. That is a formula for profit volume ratio. Fine. We know sales is amounted 10 lakh rupees given in the problem. We should only find out the contribution. With, by adding fixed cost with the profit, we can come to know contribution in the problem. So, 3 lakh rupees of fixed cost plus 1 lakh rupees of profit, it has given us 4 lakh rupees of contribution. Now, contribution 4 lakh divided by sales 10 lakhs into 100, it has given us 40% as profit volume ratio. Calculation of BEP. BEP, the formula for BEP in terms of value is fixed cost divided by PVR. Fixed cost given in the problem is 3 lakh. PVR we have calculated as 40%. So, break-even point in value in the problem is 7 lakh 50,000 rupees. Now, the third question is about calculation of profit when sales is amounted 12 lakh rupees. 
when you are given with a particular amount of sales for which you are asked to calculate profit the first thing what you should do is calculate the contribution for the given sales from the calculated contribution if you subtract fixed cost which is given in the problem the remaining amount is a profit in the given sales so let us first calculate contribution for the given sale of 12 lakh rupees there is a popular formula for calculating contribution in this situation which is nothing but sales into pvr sales is 12 lakh rupees into pvr 40% so it is given as a contribution of 4 lakh 80000 rupees on the sale of 12 lakh so profit is nothing but contribution minus fixed cost so from the contribution 4 lakh 80000 if you subtract the fixed cost 3 lakh rupees you have come to know the profit amount at 1 lakh 80000 therefore when the company makes a sales amount at 12 lakh rupees it is likely to earn a profit of 1 lakh 80000 rupees and the next one is about it is supposed to be d yeah calculation of sales to earn the desired profit of 2 lakh rupees the formula for calculating sales to be made to earn a target profit total fixed cost plus desired profit or targeted profit the whole divided by pvr that's a formula so total fixed cost in the problem is 3 lakh the desired profit to be earned in this given situation is 2 lakh the whole divided by 40 percent so 5 lakh divided by 40 percent as given as 12 lakh 50 thousand rupees is a sale so if the company wants to earn a profit of 2 lakh rupees it has to make a turnover of 12 lakh and 50 thousand rupees sum number three from the following data calculate break even point in units b if sales are 10 percent and 15 percent above the break even volume determine the net profit the details given in the problem are selling price per unit 10 rupees variable overhead per unit 2 rupees this is not variable cost this is variable overhead only the direct material per unit is 3 rupees direct labor cost per unit 2 rupees fixed cost in total amount at 10,000 so what is variable cost in the problem if you total these three items variable overhead per unit direct material per unit and direct labor cost per unit if you add these three elements you will come to know the variable cost per unit so 2 plus 3 plus 2 it comes to 7 rupees that is a variable cost per unit in the problem so first let's calculate the break even point in units as per question a what is the formula for calculating break even point in units total fixed cost divided by contribution margin per unit that's a formula total fixed cost given in the problem is 10,000 rupees divided by the contribution margin per unit is nothing but selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit as i said selling price is 10 rupees per unit in the problem and variable cost just now i explained it comes to 7 rupees per unit so 10 minus 7 it has given us 3 rupees that's a contribution margin per unit so 10,000 rupees fixed cost divided by 3 rupees of contribution margin per unit has given us the break even point in units uh, as 3334 then situation b1 there are two sub questions in b so we are going to now answer b1 calculation of net profit if the sales volume are 10 percent above break even volume see look at the question if the sales are 10 percent and 15 percent above the break even volume determine the profit now let's answer b1 calculation of net profit if the sales volume are 10% above the break even volume now let us revise the sales revised sales is equal to BEP in units plus 10% it has given us 3668 units that is what the revised sales in situation B1 now what is the contribution for the sale of 3668 units so 3668 units into contribution margin per unit it has given us 11,004 rupees as a contribution margin from the sale of 3668 units which is nothing but 10 percent above the break even volume from the 11,004 which is nothing but the contribution from the sale in situation B1 if you subtract the fixed cost you can come to no profit 
What is fixed cost in the problem? Rupees 10,000. So 11,004 minus 10,000 that gives you the profit of 1,004. Therefore, if the company makes a sale with a quantity of 3,668 units at the selling price of 10 rupees per unit, it can earn a profit of 1,004 rupees. Now let's move to the final situation B2. Calculation of net profit if the sales volume is 15% above break even volume. Revised sales break even point units 3334 plus 15 percentage of the same it gives you the revised sales quantity of 3834 units as usual let's calculate the contribution the company could generate by selling 3834 units 3834 units into the contribution of 3 rupees it gives a total contribution from the total contribution if you subtract the fixed cost 10,000 you get a profit of 1,502 by selling 3,834 units at the rate of 10 rupees per unit. I hope you enjoyed this video. You have thoroughly understood what I have explained with regard to the three problems and their related solutions. Kindly watch this video for a couple of times to understand the three concepts very very thoroughly. It would be really beneficial for the learners to score good marks in the examination. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now everyone.